How's it going guys? It's Poetry Soto and welcome back to another episode of the Prussian Pandemonium Campaign. We are finally Prussia now. Glorious Prussia with those ugly gray borders. Ah, I'm just kidding. I think uh, Prussia looks actually kind of cool. Um, although some people were complaining in my comments. Well, not complaining. They are saying, you know, why isn't it the Prussian blue, you know? But anyways, I don't know. You'll have to ask Paradox about that. We're going to take this tech because it's not going to be, it's going to be a while until we get the next institutions. Might as well take it now, get a smaller penalty than if we took it next year, you know? Pedreros and Shorts Writers. Uh, always do that event. And I'm feeling fairly in the groove right now. I'm feeling like I, I understand what I need to do. You know, I'm gonna... Did we just give up a permanent claim? Oh my gosh, I clicked a little too quickly. And apparently gave up a permanent claim. I did not realize you could give up permanent claims. That's kind of... Dumb. Uh, it's only a six development province, so I'm okay with that, I guess. But... That is still, like, you know, we lost maybe, like, 5, 10 points, admin points, by doing that. Still, though, uh, okay, well, note to self, permanent claims can be lost. Okay, now I feel like I'm dumb. But anyways, <laughs> um, we have military focus, which is good. I think that's what we need. Why are we losing so much money? It's probably because of this. And I don't want to... I think we're gonna go to war with Lundberg soon. I do think so, but uh, let's see. Oh, I've one thing I forgot to look at is uh, government. So Prussian is our main culture, and Saxon is a accepted culture now. That is the case. Poland declared war on Muscovy. Wow. So Saxon is an accepted culture, and something we should keep in mind is we do have a lot of diplo points. Maybe we should. Uh, what Prussian is? Yo, that's not right. That should be our main group. Um, okay, that's kind of weird. It must be something to do with the tag switch. Denmark is at war with someone at with Muscovy. You're because you're out of Poland. Okay, you're not gonna call me in Poland. That's that's kind of mean of you if you ask me. Uh, but yeah, what do we want to do? Let's see. Uh, one thing. We are actually a part of the Empire still. That's surprising. I thought it removed us from the Empire. I guess not. We are still a part of the Empire. We are just uh, a kingdom level title now, which is good. We have another diplomat from that. Um, if you didn't know, that's what that does. So that's good. Um, is there anything else we should do? We're going to annex these guys, I think. It'll take like, you know, yeah, six months or less. So not too bad. This ends in July. I think that'll probably be the next war we do. It's gonna be easy, you know. It's of our culture group, doesn't really matter. Let's do it. Brunswick is quite big. I am, we gotta go to war with Brunswick at some point in the near future. Let's go ahead and start doing this. Start building a spy network with Brunswick. I really wanna go to war with them. Um, we need to go to war with them at some point. It's not of our culture group or any, or not, it is of our culture group. It's not of our culture or anything accepted, but no, no, neither is any of this other land, so might as well take out the biggest person first. It's normally not how I actually approach things in EU4. I'd most of the time prefer to take out smaller people first, but, you know, whatever. Okay. So, integration is a slow process. What is this? Uh, we're gonna risk that, get some church power. Okay, so we can now select an aspect of faith. I really love this whole mechanic. I'm so glad they added this a couple patches ago. Uh, I like doing the idea cost fairly early on, but is there anything else we could use better? By the way, I found out that this thing means development cost. Uh, it took me a while to figure that out, but thank you guys for in the comments for telling me that. Morale of armies and navies is really good. Global soil increase is good if you're colonizing, but we're not. But I think this is good. Just do that now, because I'm going to want that later on. Um, and our truce should be ending with this guy any second now. Uh, also, our ideas... No, our traditions and ideas have not changed, which is good. They shouldn't, and I would be pissed if they did. Uh, Russian prestige. Okay, we can take Lundberg as our goal... Yeah, we're gonna do it. We'll fight Milan. Milan is, eh, they're decently powerful, but not powerful enough to really make me worry. Wow. Wow. 
Man, I forgot how fun it is to play as Prussia. Prussian Space Marines. It says that for a reason. Oh, hey, we have these troops here. Are we over? Yeah, we're going to be over our force limit. I think we're just going to delete these. Are they? They're mercs. They're mercs. Why did you only have mercs in your country? Oh, right, that definitely makes me want to disband them. That's strange. Very weird, but I mean, sure. No, more prestige. Hey, this is nice. All these prestige events. I like it. Come here, my pretties. I love that event. You get uh, the aggressive expansion impact. I do think we want to... Uh lose influence is fine. I do think we want to declare war on Bohemia soon. I want to eat all of Bohemia at some point. Uh, and the reason why is because I think Czech culture is not our group and that might be one of the few non-Germanic cultures that we want to make accepted. Uh, Polish being like one of the other ones, you know. Um, and as far as what we're planning on doing, I'm not sure uh, long term. We're just going to be conquering a lot of land, you know. Because uh, this is more of a laid-back campaign uh, to just mess around and test out some of the features uh, before, during, and after the release of the game uh, before we do a future achievement run. You will do achievement runs again soon, I promise, but for now, I mostly just wanted to kind of test out the features, and that's what this run is. Um, that's what this run is, and that's why, you know, um, we're just trying to test out the features and stuff. And So, you know, keep an eye on the channel if you're looking forward to those achievement runs and stuff. Those, those will be coming soon. We're going to have more... Um, achievement runs, bigger achievement runs coming soon, definitely, um, with Rights of Man active, but, uh, for now, I just kind of, you know, this one is just to last as long as I think it needs to last, well, until we've, uh, oh god, that sucks, until we've tested as many, let's do that, tested as many features as I think, or, you know, tested the features in a way that I feel covers them adequately, and stuff. Let's see, what do we have going on? Lubeck, I really want to declare war on soon, but we don't really have an option right now. Well, Livonian order Riga and Hamburg. It's not like they're super strong. They're not. They're not ridiculously strong, but they are strong-ish. I'd like to go to war with, like, these guys. To the, with the Livonians. If we go to war with the Livonian Order, that might be a good idea, honestly. Um, I think maybe we should do that. Take Goldingen. This is all Latvian and Estonian culture. But, uh, what? I'm curious. I want to look at the culture again. Just do that. I don't care. Hey, our. Our king is calm. Stability cost modifier? Sure, why not? You know, we might actually have to raise stability if we get any negative events or anything. Um, so, that would be fine, I think. That's a fine event. But yeah, regardless, yeah, like I said, this this series will be just going on as long as I feel it needs to. We're just, we don't really have any goals. We're just messing around eating land, uh, doing Prussia things, until, we, uh, until later on we'll start a new series with a more focused goal. Uh, and then we'll probably end this series around that same time, just kind of transition to the next. But yeah, this series will be going on for a while, so don't feel like we're going to end it shortly. We have plenty of time left to explore whatever features we'd like to explore. Working down to the water, oh my god, leave our friends behind. I don't know, man. So this, this claim on Brunswick is coming up nicely. Braunschweig? Braunschweig. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I think I'm close enough. <laughs> Cleansing the heresy, you Brunswickian Catholic scum. Nah, I'm just messing. Alright, so Bohemia has gone Protestant, which is huge, actually. Um, it just is really nice because it allows us to uh, eat that land more efficiently. It'll become a part of our country quicker. Efficient integration. Yeah, I think I think that I'm gonna want to declare war on the Livonians soon, especially since they're a rival. Austria has declared war on Switzerland. Interesting. Um, these administrative ideas. Oh, can we change this again? No, five years. Um, I mean, I do want to take it as soon as we can. So we'll take that one. We have so much Diplo points, though. Jeez. 
one thing we might want to do is like release Celestia. Well, no, it's Imperial Land. I don't want to do that. Um, Austria's embrace colonialism. Hey, we should look at that. How are the institutions doing? So, oh, geez, wow, we're gonna be quite a bit behind. But I mean, honestly, look at this. Look at this. Look at the way it's spreading. It honestly looks like it's spreading in a way that seems to me to kind of represent a more historical method than the freaking Western tech versus non-Western. Like, like it, it's much more dynamic, and I really, really love the things they've done with this. Like, they've, like, Tunis still doesn't even have the Renaissance, which kind of makes sense. They were kind of, uh, during this time, they didn't really get lots of the influx of Italian artists and stuff that, uh, that happened. Ooh, oh, look at this. Uh, the Prussia Recess. Okay, we should read some of this. So, Prussian Estates... So it's like noble power versus our power. So, the nobility will align with us in the diet and protect this deal against the other estates. So it's like a normal estates event, except we can actually do... Wow, okay, so we can get the militarization or... And get maintenance modifier, but lose some loyalty for the burgers. That's fine. I don't mind that. But we also lose 85 military power, which is no big joke. You know, that's no, no little thing. Um, or do this. Gain 10. Lose money. Abstain from trying to reign in the states of... Or gain stability. Most of the time, I would take that one. That seems like the best one. It's the simplest. But let's do this. I want to see this. So let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. You're disloyal, I understand. Excuse me. Oh, I understand. But, I'm doing this because I want to look at this. Okay, so, militarization. Currently 20%, giving the following effects. Manpower recovery speed plus 6.6%. Land maintenance monitor plus, minus 6.6%. Discipline plus 2%. That is pretty good. So, okay, so... Let's do the quick math, then. So it seems like... For every one, for every three percent of militarization, you get one percent of the those effects. So, by spending fifty military power, you're getting. You can spend okay. So every time you click this button, you're getting three point three percent manpower recovery speed, minus three point three percent land maintenance on fire, and plus like point uh, six six discipline. So that's fairly small, but it's only drifting down by, well, by one a year. So, I don't know. I'll have to see how strong that is. But basically, you're spending money to get temporary discipline, land maintenance modifier, and manpower recovery speed. So basically, in times of militarization, you want to militarize. So, I mean, I guess the name kind of fits. It seems like something that could be used very effectively, especially if you have a lot of military points backed up. Uh, otherwise, I'm not sure. I we'll want to see how good it is. Let's do that. Um, so, but anyways, as I was saying, I think that I really like the way this is working because it looks fairly historical. It started colonialism started in Castile, spread to the nearby neighbors, spread to England and France fairly early on. Then it spread to Italy, lots of the influx of goods from the New World. Then it spread to the Lowlands. It spread to the Rhineland, uh, and now it's spreading to Austria and then it'll spread to Denmark. That seems fairly historical from what I know of colonialism, which is not a whole bunch, but from what I know, that sounds fairly historical, which I really like. Uh, I'm definitely going to do this one. Griffswald. Griffswald. Grasslands. Yeah. Yuck. Well, we should be able to destroy them fairly easily. Oh, it's a lot of manpower, though. I really don't want to deal with whatever the other thing was. Hey, our general is ruthless. Land fire damage. That's pretty nice. But hey, you know what? We're getting a little bit of more manpower recovery speed from the militarization. So look at that. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> We're still in this war, too. But, you know, we don't really have a way to peace out Milan because we can't get down there. We can almost actually... They're almost about to peace out anyways. Well, they actually probably will now. Yep. There we go. Easy money. No problem. 
Okay, aggressive expansion still looks fine. Take your money, there we go. Nice, no problem. Let's go ahead and core that up. Uh, I'm not even gonna lower the unrest, or uh, the autonomy. I will not raise, uh, I'm not gonna lower or unraise it. Or, or unraise it, yes. Or raise it, you know what I mean. Raise up, okay. Um. Did I stop, oh, gosh darn it. I got caught and then I forgot, oh, I hate that. It's so micromanagey. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that. I think Horny Looses. <laughs> it's a weird name. Uh, I think that is of our culture, so we have a claim on that already. So, Cheb. Cheb sounds weird. Uh, let's go ahead, and we can only fabricate on one province here, so we might as well do so. And stop. Oh, don't do that. Stop, stop. There we go. Poland is at war with Muscovy. Man, look, wow, what, look at Muscovy. Supposedly they, they were buffing Muscovy. Does not seem to be the case, in my opinion. It seems like they've nerfed Muscovy, or maybe. I don't know, could just be chance. Nassau, oh my god, Nassau. What, what the fudge did you do to Brunswick, Nassau? You beast, you have destroyed their whole country. Holy crap. Wow. Rip Brunswick, right? Am I right? Am I right? They have more allies now. Darn. Alright, well, Brunswick is no longer an option. Unless they cancel their relations. They could. They could. It must be because of some allies or something. Yeah, they're definitely going to lose that battle. Huh. Lubeck. So you have 10,000 troops. Because of the fact that we're not super high in manpower, I'm going to make sure that we let Poland do most of the work against the Livonians. Um, okay. We already have idea cost. National unrest sometimes I get, but manpower recovery speed is one of my other defaults, and I think that'll be one here. They should have one here for uh, institution, like, spread or cost. That would be really cool. Because uh, that is something that would kind of work out really well, I think, in that this is something that you kind of switch out cyclic cyclically when you need stuff. Like, you have peace ones and then you have war ones, and I think that would be a really cool addition. Um, I think we're going to do this. Early game, this is really important, in my opinion. So, how much are we gaining? I don't remember how to see how much you're gaining. Ah, there we go. Clergy, okay, whatever. It's not a big deal. Ah, fine. We're only going to lose five, so do that. 18, 18. All right, let's look at, well, first off, let's look at our economy. What is our inflation like? Not super good. All right, there's Lunenburg. Nice. It is already Protestant. We can make it a state. Uh, how many states do we have left? We should look first, but yeah, we got plenty of room, I figured. You kind of start fairly small as Prussia, um, Brandenburg into Prussia, you know, but so that should be good. So many Diplo points. Jeez. Another thing I was thinking... We should probably actually maybe do this. Maybe abdicate? So there will be a hit of 20. Okay. Um, do we want to try this? I really like our heir. Even though it's a girl, it would be fine, I think. 653 is much better than 461 for our current needs. But at the same time... 20 legitimacy and 50 prestige is no joke, so let's not do that, maybe. Denmark is having a lot of issues, wow. Um, which is good. It means that if there's anyone that they're allied to, we might be able to... Like Brunswick, we might be able to attack Brunswick without Denmark joining. No, right now they would, because they don't like me. That makes sense. Fair enough. I think we're going to be going to war with Lav the Livonians next. You're allied to France. You're guaranteed... Oh, they're defender of the Catholic faith, France. Come on. What the world. And they're guaranteed by Muscovy. Yo, France, you little dicks. What? What is your problem? Well, no, I was going to say we could buy it from them. No, we can't. We're not Catholic. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, We probably can do this. 
Okay. Hey, look at that. Free stability. Saxony, I want to eat you at some point. Let's do that, maybe. Or work towards that. You're going to be a good one to eat. Uh, what is this event? Um, Get some money, lose some autonomy in Danzig, which is a good province. Get some loyalty. Burgers lose loyalty. Uh, I don't want to do that. I'd rather do this, actually. Yeah. There we go. Is it time for free monarch points? No. Could do this, though. <laughs> uh, oh, jeez, this event again. I really don't like this. Oh, I tell you what. Honestly, let's just do that. It's going to be annoying, but... Yeah. Yeah, it's annoying. Religious zeal. Catholic stronghold. What is that? I guess that's just the event that we got. Yeah. It's weird. Um, It's annoying, but whatever. Let's see. Either way, I do need to end this video here. Thank you guys for watching. Go leave a like and subscribe for more. It's been a fun series so far. I hope you've been enjoying it. I have. So, uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and um, see you guys next episode with some more Prussian pandemonium. So until then, goodbye.